Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how we can dual boot our PC with Ubuntu alongside Windows so that you don't lose any of your data which is there on Windows already. So I'm going to dual boot my PC with Ubuntu 16.04 which later I'm going to use for running ROS which is a robot operating system. I'll be uploading more videos on ROS this coming week. So if you are interested in watching them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload those videos. And if you are watching this video a week later, click on the i button over here to watch the video. One question that people ask me is can't we use virtual machine to run ROS as it's much more safe. So you can surely do that but I won't recommend it as it takes a lot of processing power to run ROS simulations and virtual machine can't provide it. Plus you may find difficulty for debugging some driver issues as well as you can't add much more peripherals to it. So it's better to dual boot your PC. And through the method which I'm going to tell you in this video, all your data remains intact. So there is no risk. The second question which I get a lot is why do I still use Ubuntu 16.04 to run ROS? So I've been using Ubuntu 16 for a long time alongside ROS. And hence I am comfortable with it. Also there are some packages which I use on daily basis which are only available on Ubuntu 16.04 plus it's a lot more stable and hence I didn't shift to a newer version. But if you wish you can install new versions of Ubuntu. All the steps in the videos remains the same so you won't face any issue. In case if you face any problem you can let me know down in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. So without wasting any more time let's get into our computer. So here are the things which we'll be needing for dual booting your PC. First you need a minimum of 8GB of USB drive and then you need a couple of softwares which are SD card formatter and reefers. You can download them from the links given below in the description. Third is the ISO file of Ubuntu or any other operating system which you want to dual boot. Again the link to download the ISO file is down in the description. And lastly minimum of 100GB of free space on your computer hard drive. If you are going to use Ubuntu just for ROS and ROS simulation, 100 GB of space is more than enough for you. So once you have all the software, plug in your USB drive to the computer and it's time to format it so as to burn bootloader image of Ubuntu over it. So open your SD card formatter software and select the USB drive which is connected. You can hit refresh if you don't see it. Then click on quick format and click on the format button. Click on yes and it will begin. Once the SD card is formatted you can press ok. Next step is to burn the image onto the SD card. So open the, your Rufus software and then select your USB drive in it. Then click on the boot selection option and click on free DOS. Next you can change the label to whatever you want. Here I will be installing Ubuntu 16.04 since I am naming it accordingly. Make sure the file system is FAT32 and then click on select and select your ISO file. And click start. Press yes. Again ok. Ok. And then it will start uploading the Ubuntu ISO image over to SD card. This may require time depending upon the processing power of your computer. One eternity later. So once the image writing is done on your USB drive, you can go in this PC and check. Almost 2 GB of your pen drive has been taken by the Ubuntu operating system. The next thing we need to do is set up our Windows computer for dual booting. So go to the start bar and search power and sleep settings. Open it and click on additional power settings. Later, go into choose what the power button does, then click on change settings that are currently unavailable and make sure turn on fast startup is checked marked. Then save the changes and you can go back to your desktop. Next we need to defragment our drive in order to install Ubuntu in that partition. So go into this PC and select the drive which you want to defragment. Defragment means you are going to dedicate a specific amount of storage of that drive to Ubuntu operating system. In my case, I am going to do partition of C drive. Hence, I will right click on it and go into the properties and go into the tools. 
click on optimize select the disk which you want to defragment in my case it's just one disk which is C you can defragment your D or E drive and then click on analyze as I am defragmenting my C drive it's coming 10% fragmented as 10% of my C drive is used by the OS itself but if you are defragmenting your D or E drive it will be 0% fragmented so once you get that 0% fragmented option you can click close and then ok next go to the start bar and type in disk manager and then this select the drive which you want to do the partition with right click over it you can even right click over here and click on the shrink volume button here you need to allocate the amount of storage which you want to give to the partition if you are going to use ubuntu just for ROS, 100 gb is more than enough for you you can install all the packages in just 100 gb of space so here you have to type it in mdc which turns out to be 102400 mbs in my case i need some additional storage just because i have to do some other work too I will put on the space which is needed by me and then click on the shrink button. And you can see the amount of storage which you selected has been unallocated over here. Now you can see your C drive has been shrinked. Now comes the real part installing Ubuntu. So plug in your USB drive again. You can see Ubuntu 16.04 return in the bottom corner and then hit restart. Make sure your USB drive is still connected and when your computer is restarting, continuously hit the BIOS button. In my case, it's F10. I will put a link to in the description where you can see which is the BIOS button for your specific computer. If you continuously hit it, you will go into the BIOS menu. Here we are into the BIOS menu. Now you need to look for the secure boot option. So in this security option, there is secure boot configuration accept it and then disable the secure boot option yours might look different but all you need to do is disable the secure boot and then go into the boot order and bring your usb drive as the topmost boot source what this does is uh, it looks for the operating system on USB drive first and then your hard disk same for the legacy boot in this we are what we are doing is we are telling our computer to choose our flash drive as primary boot option and then our hard drive as the secondary boot option once it is done you can uh, press F10 to accept it and then save changes and exit A few moments later so here is our grub menu you can click on try ubuntu without installing to see if you're all wi-fi drivers and if you're using laptop if your trackpad is working or not we'll be selecting install ubuntu right now uh, eventually Later. And then your installation procedure for Ubuntu will begin. Click continue. I don't have a Wi-Fi connection right now, so I will install the third party graphics driver and other softwares later on. I am not checking that option. I will press continue. Now this is a very important procedure. If you don't see this option which says install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager, that means you have done something wrong in the previous step so try to go back and follow all the steps properly uh, if you see on only the option of install ubuntu don't do it because it will erase all your windows 
uh, hard drive and all the data. Only if you see install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager, then select that option and click on the install now. Click on continue and then I will select my time zone which is in India. Then my keyboard layout, you can directly press continue and type in your name and computer's name over here. So it will be visible in the terminal. Also type in your password. And you can select the option which says login automatically if you want. This logs you directly onto the desktop. And you can even encrypt your home folder if you want. It's your wish. It's not necessary always. I'm pressing the continue button. Installation of Ubuntu will automatically start. One eternity later. After the installation is done, you can see a uh, prompt like this. You can click on restart now. Once your PC gets restarted, you will see a grub menu like this, which shows Ubuntu and Windows, both the options. So you can select whatever you need to boot into. We will be booting into Ubuntu. So I will go on to the Ubuntu and select it. And here is Ubuntu starting. So you can see, I can uh, type in my password and get into Ubuntu desktop. Here are all the key shortcuts this Ubuntu offers. And the first thing which I would recommend you to do after installing Ubuntu is open up a terminal and type in sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get upgrade. What this does is uh, updates and upgrades all the software which are pre-installed into your operating system. Even it checks for updates of the OS itself. Once you type in the command, you need to type your password as well. So here sudo stands for super user. So in Ubuntu, your password won't be visible even if you type it. You just um, type your password by memory and hit enter. Right now I don't have an internet connection so it says fail to download. But I can install it later on. So right now I will restart my computer and show you by going back to Windows. So here are we on the grub menu again and if I click on Windows option, my Windows will get started. So here are we back onto our windows login screen. So that was it for today guys. So we have successfully dual booted our PC without losing any of our data on windows. So in the next video which we will be releasing on Thursday, we will be installing few tools which are really helpful while working with ROS. So if you don't want to miss on that video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload that video. Also if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if it was useful for you. That's all for today guys. Thank you very much. Peace.